Hi, this is Doug Hyman with JOB. Normally I'm talking to you about job search, but I'm going to be doing another product unboxing and review. This is another motorcycle item. It's my Revit Aerovolution motorcycle gloves. And to unbox first, I'm going to start with my Spyderco Tenacious G10 Combi Knife. I purchased this from Motorcycle Superstore. Uh, normally these gloves are $120, but they had them on clearance for $75, so I couldn't pass that up. Plus I have all my other gear is uh, Revit as well, so it was absolutely perfect. But let's see what we got as we open this up. Uh, opening this up, there's a bunch of materials. Oh my gosh, there's uh, Motorcycle Superstore stickers, okay? Uh, thank you for your last order. We're hooking you up with a 10% off of my next order. That's nice. My packing slip, which says $74.99. A book here from Motorcycle Superstore. Looks like a catalog. Uh, just some packing material. And here are the gloves. They're in a bag. Uh, once again, these are the Revit Revolution gloves. And uh, I got them in a size 2X. And uh, in fact, it's in a little plastic bag here. I'm pulling these out. Uh, they're on a little clip. Wow, you can really smell the leather. Oh my gosh, these things smell absolutely amazing. Uh, this is just a little Celica gel. And uh, but let me pull in and uh, and I'll show you these gloves as I try them on. All right, here's the glove. I've got it on. It's uh, it's actually pretty tight. Uh, my wrist. You're supposed to measure around your the widest part of your palm uh, I'm about nine inch almost uh, nine and three quarters inches which according to the Revit chart puts me at an extra large uh, I have a 2x and these are pretty tight I mean uh, you want to be very very careful whenever you're ordering is definitely order a size up uh, since they are all leather constructed so I'm not too worried I mean I know they're going to stretch out but uh, looking at the glove, it's actually a three-quarter uh, length. It's not a little shorty that stops here at my wrist. I mean, there's a good uh, at least two inches more of protection. Uh, there's a single uh, Velcro enclosure. It's a big, thick one, which I like. Sometimes gloves have those little, thin Velcro strips, which, uh, to me, if you're ever in a, a get-off of your bike, I mean, you're going to, you know, I have a feeling it would just rip open. But uh, it's called the Airvolution because you might be able to see there's perforation throughout the leather uh, all over this glove. But looking at it, uh, starting from the back forward, once again, it, it's about a three-quarter, not a gauntlet, obviously. Uh, it's, like I said, a, a good, and I'm going up to, my, my index finger is where my wrist is, so it's a good, like, two inches or so of additional uh, coverage. But uh, perforated leather, there's an elasticated panel here for when you're you know, grabbing your, your bars and, and pulling forward on your, uh, with your hard part. Which, and there's a, uh, a carbon fiber hard knuckle. And it is on a sponge, uh, or a, you know, I'm sure like a foam, so it's actually pretty soft. It doesn't like uh, dig into your, your fingernails. Uh, looking at the fingers themselves, uh, the, there is uh, you know, padding on the pinky. Uh, there are two, uh, they would be the carbon fiber hard sliders plus on top of a bed of, uh, of uh, impact foam. On the middle finger, there is a single uh, carbon fiber slider and then a, another cushion. The uh, index finger actually is just all uh, sponge, you know, all uh, foam. And there's even the little Revit uh, logo on the fingertip. On the thumb, there is uh, uh, another panel of uh, it's it's a different type of leather on the thumb. Plus the uh, there are two impact absorbing pads. Flipping it over on the underside, uh, the palm is totally reinforced. In fact, it's a single piece of leather that starts at the palm, the base of your palm, surrounds and goes all the way up as an extra layer around the pinky. And I know that's important to have a like a continuous piece of leather on that side because that's usually where you'd be going down on a low side is hitting on your, your pinky side. So you really want your pinky side to be uh, built up and strong. Uh, there's another leather, and I think it's called like Petard's leather, which is a, like a reinforced leather. Uh, there are uh, ventilations on the fingers 
and all of the fingers themselves, and let me bring up a little bit closer, uh, if you'll notice the stitching is actually on the outside of the glove, not on the inside for comfort. Uh, other than that, oh, and there, of course, there's the Revit logo going down the side on, uh, you know, both gloves, and there is the Revit uh, logo on the, uh, really where that, uh, I guess that's your, uh, your ulna bone, you know, kind of sticks out <laughs> on your wrist, uh, but it adds additional padding there, and, and obviously it looks good. Uh, but uh, here is the Revit Airvolution glove. It really is, I mean, it's a super quality piece. I can tell just by putting it on and even smelling it. I mean, as I said, the leather just smells amazingly good. Uh, super high quality, real, real soft. Uh, and I know this will easily conform to my hand and, and probably stretch out even a little bit more. But uh, that is the Airvolution glove by Revit.